I'm Di Morgan, I am leader of Oasis Academy Johanna. If you'd have told me 30 years ago I'd be talking about self-control, then I probably wouldn't have believed you and certainly my family wouldn't have done. Um, self-control is something that I was desperately lacking in as a teenager. It led me to walking out of school, walking out of home, it led me to losing friendships because I just wouldn't keep a secret, couldn't keep a secret, had to share everything with everybody else. And that led me to quite a lot of loneliness at an early age. So it was something that I desperately had to sort out. And the way I sorted out, sorted it out was by joining the army, which is a little bit extreme, but it did the trick. Um, and after a short spell within the forces, I kind of had my life back on track again, and that habit became one that I was able to build on. So self-control is something that I, I have developed and it's something that we all have to work on, on an ongoing basis. Hello, my name is Paul Woodman, I'm the Director of Church and Chaplaincy and I head up this area of work for Oasis UK. For me self-control is vital, it's the bedrock of all the other habits. When you're living from a place of self-control, you have that sense of being healthy, of being joyful and being content. Self-control for me is about thinking more about others, thinking less about myself and thinking about the needs of other people, Think about their stories, think about their journeys and how I react to them. So in my worst moments, self-control is the leash that stops me from responding badly, stops me from sending that email angrily or from being annoyed with someone. So self-control is a key for me to not regretting something that I've said or done in the future. I've learned that self-control is key to the others because if I'm not eating well, if I'm not exercising, if I'm not sleeping well, then I'll become grumpy rather than patient and joyful. I'll become impatient and I'll become unkind to other people. Developing self-control comes through having a sense of purpose and goals. And to achieve those goals, I need to make disciplined decisions. So if I want to finish the race well in my hometown, then I need to be thinking, I need to get up early in the morning, so I need to go to bed well the night before. I need to eat well. If I want to have a good relationship with the people that matter to me, then I need to make time for them. So making these good decisions all the time is what being self-controlled is all about.